So many believers are missing out on receiving abundant life because they don't understand this principle of sowing, of sowing and reaping. That when you sow, this is the way you reap more. That when you sow, you get back what you have given and more. Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold. So he sowed and he reaped so much more than what he sowed. If you are faithful to sow, he absolutely will bring 100 fold. You will start seeing like your life changing so much because of this great reaping that has come from all those seeds you have sown. Seeds by themselves, before they're put in the ground, they don't do anything. They're tiny, they don't produce anything, they're, they do nothing. But you sow them, you release them from your hands, you don't hold on to them, you release them, you sow them into the ground and you don't see anything for a little bit, for a while. It takes time for the roots to go under and grow and become strong. But that at that perfect time, a, a plant sprouts up, a tree sprouts up, a flower sprouts up. And so if you throw all of these seeds into the ground and there's so many seeds, one day it will be a massive field of plants that produce all this fruit that you can eat flowers that are so beautiful they bless you to look at them big trees that produce shade that bless you so much more you have reaped than what you have than what you sowed that's the spiritual principle of sowing of sowing into god's kingdom you're sowing it can be little what you have but you sow, and it produces supernatural blessings in your life Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. If you do, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have room enough to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. God is saying, put me to the test because he so badly wants to release these blessings to you, but he can't go against his principles. You're crying out for certain things and he's saying, I have these ready, but I need you to test me in this and so. It's not just financial blessings, so it is financial blessings always. Whenever you sow, you can know that the reaping is going to be connected to your financial blessings and protection over your finances. But the seed you're sowing is also connected to spiritual needs that you have and physical needs that you have. The things you're crying out to God and praying to God for, many times it's connected to the seed. Many times it's, it's specifically what he's saying here when you sow i will pour out this blessing so if we can just be obedient and sow and do what god says we're making sure that every door is opening that's supposed to open from god to receive all the blessings and needs that we have we don't have to worry about it like what do i need to do to get this blessing no just be obedient just follow god's principles and then everything will be released to you that's supposed to be released to you it's not about like i'm paying God to give me this. No, sowing is nothing about paying God. It's a spiritual principle of bringing sacrifice, of doing what he's commanding you to do, of advancing his kingdom, of sowing into his anointed ground and reaping from it what you sow. It has nothing to do with like a transaction or paying God to give you something. It's just that some blessings are, are reaping blessings that are gonna come. It's not a transaction. It's a reaping. To receive the reaping, you have to sow.